Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to St. Medellin Church, which I think you will agree is an absolutely amazing venue. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Good. I think that's because it's such a lovely acoustic in here. I'd just like to say, on behalf of the children, that I know, or the pupils, I should say, because some of them are adults now, they've all worked really, really hard to be here. And I know that all the adults here have supported them in that endeavour, either early on in their musical careers or later on. Um, and uh, I would just like to say that nerves are part of the performing process, as we all know. But I've had a word with the uh, players, and I've said to them that nerves are a very useful thing to have because they prepare you for the performance, and not only the performance today, but performances in the future, because you remember those nerves, and it makes you work harder. Well, it does me anyway. It's the very first time that some of our pupils here have performed, and you will see there's a very large range in sizes. We've got some very tall ones and some, some much shorter ones. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do this again in the future to give other young musicians an opportunity to perform. Um, I know that all of you are going to be super, super supportive of your own children and the other children that are performing. So thank you so much for coming this afternoon on such a lovely afternoon to join us. I think that's me done. So I would like to introduce us uh, to our first performer, who is Eddie Plum. If you'd like to come up, please, Eddie. Eddie's going to play a piece called Car Chase, but he's actually slightly arranged himself. He's not playing exactly what's written on the music. He's playing some extra bits and pieces. And he's chosen the style and things of the keyboard as well. So we're just going to spend a minute to set that up. So voice, zero, one. Is that the right one? And uh, style, zero, one, three. Tempo, one, four, five. Ready? Do you want to stand here or do you want me to go away? Go away. <laughs> by Alyssa Milne called Squarer. This is 
one of our very young performers. This is Mel Hurst. And she's going to be play a traditional piece for us called Lightly Road. Amber Osborne playing to Carter on the guitar.
have uh, Jenna Adler playing the guitar, and she's going to play a piece called Barkarov. Robin Borders, 
who's going to play a piece by Pam Wedgwood called The Detective.
so next we have our penultimate piano piece, which is going to be Phoebe Rathbone playing Echo Stays in E flat. <laughs>
Now, what I didn't tell you before he played, because I didn't want to embarrass him, but I will now. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, potentially this could be loss of revenue for CMST. But uh, Rowan has never, ever had a piano lesson in his entire life. <laughs> so I just feel totally blown away by the amazing talent um, that we have in North Cornwall. And I do hope that some of uh, the young pianists, perhaps, that are out there, and other players, of course, as well, will be inspired to do some composition of their own. So, uh, well done, Rowan. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. And um, now we come to Stanley, who's going to play a piece on guitar called Julia Florida.
nicer to do on such a beautiful day than sit and listen to such wonderful music, played so beautifully and sensitively. Really, really beautiful. Thank you very much. And um, next we have Amos Mayland, who is going to play for us a fantasy in A minor. Um, we have um, our final piece, which is a cello quartet featuring Tiggs Coleman, Philip Coombe, Grace Sellers and Tamsin Bunker, and they're going to play a piece called Nero Vivo. The unfortunate previous item from the double bass, the bass has a bit of a neck injury. It is a bit out of form. So if anybody knows of a half-size double bass, please let me know. <laughs>
what our next item is, because I've just been told on. So um, we've got the Twitcher clarinets, and we've got some very big ones, and some medium-sized ones, and we've got some very big people and some medium-sized people to play them. I have to say, I was, the, I was the tallest in the class when I was in year six, and then in year seven, I took up the clarinet, and that was it, I never grew again. <laughs> without you guys 
and we are very grateful to you for the support that you give your children at home. Hopefully it will become a little easier now some of the younger ones have seen the older ones play and realise what they can achieve with hard work. Um, I'd like to express sincere thanks to Gary Flower, who you saw running about, making lots of noise earlier on with his hands. Um, he's organised all the lights and sound and he's also recorded the performance and taken photographs that you'll be able to ex uh, access on the CMST website uh, later on when he's got that uh, organised. So thank you very much, Gary. <laughs> By, by Tom Little as well. So <laughs> Gary was uh, out gigging till two o'clock yesterday, uh, two o'clock this morning, so he's done really well to be here and worked so hard today and I'm really, really grateful because it's really made everything very professional. Secondly, I'd like to express my thanks particularly to uh, Katie from Indelienta who's sitting at the back there in the blue jumper with the pink jump, uh, button and also to her colleague who's been here and I... I'm afraid I don't think I caught your name, um, but the lady in the green jacket at the back there is away. Um, they have been so supportive throughout this whole process, and I just feel so privileged that we could have this space today because it really has made it such a special event. And the teas and the coffee organisation and everything that you've done to support the process, thank you so much. Um, I really insulted somebody by completely forgetting them, so if I've forgotten anybody, I haven't finished yet, but if I do forget anybody, please forgive me. Um, I'd like to express my thanks to Kate Tidwell for piano, uh, piano tuning. She did a wonderful job on a very beautiful piano. But I think it was a great pleasure to, for her as well. <laughs> piano she'd ever tuned. And I think the pupils have been very appreciative of being able to play that today as well, so thank you for allowing us to do that. Uh, next, I'd like to thank all the teachers for their hard work in preparing the students for this um, programme today and for giving up their time. I know that this is a really, really busy time of year for all of you, and um, I know there's concert after concert after concert, so thank you greatly for that and thank you for, pre for preparing the pupils and coming to rehearsals. And um, I'd like to express my thanks to my husband. I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Probably run away. Um, he's so supportive of everything that I do and um, it's, he drove me back from London this morning at five o'clock uh, in the morning. So that, um, well, actually, it was because one of our cats went missing and we were a bit worried about it. But I also wanted to be here for the concert. So. Um, and then I would like to say, oh, the, yes, the cat's fine, and there he is. Um, and I'd also to say a huge well done to all of our music students. Weren't they amazing? Weren't they I don't think, I've, I, I mean, obviously I teach the piano students, I don't think I've ever heard any of them play better than they've played today, and I, I think everybody's raised their game, and I think that bodes well for future events like this, which I'm hoping are going to happen, because I think it's going to really um, help all of the students aspire to greater things. So, um, thank you, everybody that I've thanked, and anybody that I haven't thanked, um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say except to uh, have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Go and skip along in the sunshine and remember some of these wonderful events. <laughs> And I'm sorry about this. We did make the concert free so that it was available to anybody who wanted to come. But I would ask you, please, if you're able to, and I know these times are very, very hard indeed, 
that if you are able to put a little bit of money in an envelope and pop it into the box on your way out, then please feel that you, that, that you can do that because um, the, the proceeds of the concert will be split within Dalienta for the hire of the church and a little bit for the printing of the programmes and a little bit for other bits and pieces. So um, please do feel that you can be generous there if you'd like to. And if you can't, there's not, you know, no embarrassment at all. So have a lovely, lovely rest of the weekend and maybe see you next time. Thank you.